Safe by Accident, Taking the Luck Out of Safety. In this video, author Dr. Judy Agnew talks about one of the most important facets of building a strong, safety-oriented culture. It's called discretionary effort. Discretionary effort is when people go above and beyond the call of duty. You know, very often people think, well, what does that have to do with safety? All we need in safety is compliance. Just follow the rules. That's really all we need. But in fact, we need a lot more than that in safety. We need people to follow the rules all the time when someone's watching, when no one's watching. We need them to follow the rules in the middle of the night and on the weekends. So there's discretionary effort there. They're doing what they need to do. They're following the rules even when no one's watching. The second way discretionary effort shows up in safety is in terms of people's willingness to become more engaged in safety, to step up, to talk about what's working and not working around safety, uh, where they find themselves doing at-risk behaviors, where there are hazards that need to be taken care of. And what we find so often in organizations is there's an awful lot of silence. There's people not talking about what's really going on. We need to break that and get that discretionary effort from people so that we can create a safer workplace. Another critical aspect of developing an effective safety-oriented culture is ensuring trust between employees and management. In, in the perfect environment, and, and I, I don't think I've ever been in that kind of environment, but in the perfect environment, when there's an accident or a near miss or even an at-risk behavior, people come together to talk about why did that happen? What were the conditions that might have contributed? What were the management practices that might have contributed? And what was the behavior that occurred? And most importantly, what do we do about it? How can we change the environment, the management practices, the behaviors, so that that individual or other individuals don't do those things again? And that's really what it needs to be about, is how do we fix the environment so that it doesn't occur again? Blaming has no value in that kind of environment. Hourly employees need to be able to feel like if they raise an issue that it's going to be dealt with in an honest and just fashion. Uh, if they don't trust that man a, a particular manager is going to respond that way, then they're going to keep that to themselves. And in safety, people can keep an awful lot of things to themselves. And that's what we see so often, and, and that's why there isn't the level of safety in most organizations that they're hoping for. But Judy Agnew says don't misunderstand. This does not involve a popularity contest. This is absolutely not about being friends with people. Having a good relationship with somebody uh, can take a lot of different forms. Sometimes uh, the individual is going to be very shy and quiet. Uh, sometimes they'll be very gregarious and it'll look like a really good relationship. The bottom line is how do they interact? How does that leader provide antecedents and consequences to individuals? Do they use more positive reinforcement than negative? Do they ask questions and learn about things before they jump to conclusions and make decisions. So there's a series of behaviors really that we look for in leaders that, that help us know whether they've got a good relationship and then help us help them develop better relationships. And the science of behavior applies to everything. We're talking about in this case, in this book, about the application to safety, but it really does go beyond safety to any aspect of business. Safe by accident, taking the luck out of safety. For more from Dr. Judy Agnew and Aubrey Daniels, and to purchase the book Safe by Accident, visit the website safebyaccident.com.